good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i had a user request a little bit of help with tinkercad alignment i've got some tricks so let's get cracking friends the question came on the video about this one right here if you haven't seen this cool vent adapter i'll have a link to it up above so you can check it out i have just started a brand new tinkercad lesson so let's just bring out a couple of parts to play with i've got a cylinder i've got a cube and i'm going to bring out a cone so the first thing I want to show you is that if you grab two items and select a line, you can pick one to be the boss. If I choose the red one and I look at it from the front, this is super easy to see. That's the middle. This I've seen in my classroom confuses students. So we're going to look at it from a corner. Notice when I move it, it breaks it, but I'm going to bring it back right here. It's the middle of both objects. If I click on this and say the master is the red one, well, then you can see the middle is there. Now that part is completely hidden because it's inside the shape. They were the same height. If I click somewhere else, I can hide this. I can click on the cone and I can lift it up. But then I also want to show you if you do control, you can use the up arrow to raise it up. If we do show all, you can see they come back. This time I'm going to grab these two objects. I'm going to select a line. I'm going to make this one the master and I'm going to go pop and pop. Now notice these were all the exact same height so that way we can't even mess with the up and down number. Once again I'm going to click on this one and hide it. I'm going to raise this up a little bit with the cone or I could have done control up. I'm going to do show all and I'm going to show you another quick trick. We're going to do alt and shift. So I'm doing that with my left hand and then I'm going to shrink this down. Make sure it stayed at, uh, attached. Notice it did not. So I want to show you the work plane. This is the work plane or the letter W. Click where you want to put it. Click on your item and hit D. And it drops right there. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. So I press the letter W. I click the edge. And now the work plane is back here. But I want to set this shape up on top. Friends, this is one of the coolest things. Click where you want to put it, D to drop. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. So notice it's not in the right spot. But if I grab all three of those and I choose a line, I could just do middle, middle, and it would pop right here. I can also make this one the boss and go middle. Notice it lined up that way. I can even spin so we can see it a little better. And if I choose middle this way, Boom, we have just made some sort of silly shape all centered on the purple cone. All right, friends, so there you have it. Super quick steps to how to get a better grasp of how the Tinkercad align tool works. Now, friends, I also threw in Alt Shift, which is size about the center. And I also threw in the work plane and D for drop because they're some of my favorite tools. Of course, friends, if you ever have any more questions, I love to hear them. Make sure you add them in the YouTube comments. Don't forget, friends, you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And then also down at the bottom, there's a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.